Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about different pieces of notation and then also how to define our new parameter of interest, which is mu sub d. So remember the notation for our parameter is mu sub d. That's just the symbol we use, but we call it the population mean of pair differences. So then there's x bar sub d, which is the sample mean for the pair differences. And then we have s sub d, which is the standard deviation for the pair differences. So here, when it has the subscript D, remember it's the same measurement as we had in past chapters. It's just the subscript denotes that we're talking about it in the context of differences. Now we still have N for sample size. That doesn't change. Uh, it doesn't get a subscript D because it is just the number of differences that we have measurements for. So then when we define our parameter of interest, we have mu sub d equals mean difference between. And it will always be that phrasing at the beginning. So you can just memorize that that's how you start it. And then you would state your two variables that you have. So mean difference between and then the variables and the population. So very similar to how we defined a mu in the past. It's just now we are going to be adding in a second variable and also how the differences are calculated. So remember when we talked about how to find um, this type of data, we talked about x bar, or excuse me, x sub d and the x1 minus x2. Here the difference really does matter, the direction matters. And so that's an additional component we have with the mu sub d definition. So as an example, we looked at different alternative hypotheses, one of which was if there's a difference between exam one and exam two scores for GBSU students. So if I were to write that in um, a parameter definition, I would say mean difference between exam one and exam two scores for GBSU students. And at this point, the order doesn't matter. It's when we actually state how the differences were found, which is the end of the sentence, that it matters. So here we would say where differences equals exam two minus exam one. Now there's no set way to do that. Sometimes you have to make the choice of direction yourself. Um, just as long as you state what it is, you'll have met that requirement with the mu sub d definition. So the direction is up to you, but stating what the direction is is part. So that's defining a uh, mu sub d and looking at different types of notations in future videos. We will actually get to practicing this. See you in future videos.